Well, there's a look at the St. Pete Distillery, of course, started in uh, Florida here in 2014. And when you think of Halloween, maybe you do think of some spooky cocktails. And while we're always looking for new suggestions, that is why we are excited to welcome in two representatives, Kristen Galley and Warren Gardner, to the show. Welcome, or should I say the child? I believe we're seeing, right? <laughs> Yoda, I love it. <laughs> Thanks for playing along with us today. It's been a lot of fun. We're glad that you're joining us. Of course, yeah. of course. So I love you guys are playing along. You guys knew uh, the St. Pete Distillery knew that Halloween was coming. And you said, you know what? We need some cocktails, uh -huh. some spirits to go along with that as well. Yeah, exactly. So, so what are you making play? for us today? So we got three drinks in front of you here that we've made with our spirits. We are going to start with a Black Lagoon Mojito made with our Oak and Palm Coconut Rum. I'm also going to add some mint uh, simple syrup, some, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to add some mint simple syrup, some squid ink, some lime juice, and a little bit of cocktail shimmer to make it pretty, and then top it with some club soda. Did you say squid ink? Did I hear that right? <laughs> uh, you say squid ink. It is a fun thing we're adding to the drink to make it black, and then some cocktail shimmer to make it spooky looking. <laughs> Okay, we gotta we gotta see this, Kristen. Car <laughs> Mojitos are Carly's drink, actually. So I don't know if you've ever had one like this before. Well, I will make it up for you. And Warren's gonna talk about yeah, the open palm, palm coconut rum while I do that. Yeah, so our open palm coconut rum is basically a made from 100 percent raw cane sugar. Uh, that's the base spirit. So there, you get a real smoothness. Um, we use 100% uh, coconut extract. So it's a very flavorful rum. It's at 70 proof. It's semi-sweet. Um, and really, I mean, it's, it's a great mixer, and you can drink it right on the rocks also. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So where can you get this, by the way? Because I, I know some, obviously, things have changed here in 2020. Where can we get this old uh, St. Pete Distillery, what you guys are uh, serving up? Yeah, so usually you can either come to the marketplace um, our pop-up marketplace, or usually in any other store that we have in Florida, anywhere from um, ABC, Color Wines, um, Publix's, you know, we're in all, a lot of places, you know. So. By the way, I got to say, as you're making up that, I'm seeing, like, the cool glasses that you have as well. And then also, like, I'm seeing, is that a finished product in front of us on the mojito right there with the eyeballs sticking out? It is. <laughs> of course. Now, Carly, when you have your mojito, don't mention it with an eyeball, right? I would hope not. Whoa. <laughs> wow. And nice. there, right? so there's that one looking good. That dark is color is crazy. Does it still have kind of that citrus spearmint kind of, you know, freshness uh, taste to it? Yeah, yeah. So it brings in the coconut uh, from the coconut rum and then has that mojito flavor. And then it's got the fun look of the squid ink and the cocktail shimmer. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go. I know you've got a few more drinks. Let's go ahead. What do we have second? This one is going to be a Blood Moon Punch. We're going to do it in a single serving today using our Banyan Reserve Vodka and our Tipler's Orange Liqueur. You can also make this in a full-size punch and serve it on Halloween. Perfect for any little, you know, social distance get-togethers. I like that idea. Um, the, the thing that's uh, very special about our Banyan vodka is basically it's six times distilled vodka. Um, it's eight times charcoal filter. It's charcoal at a very slow rate, um, very smooth, um, no headaches, no condiments, um, and slightly sweet. So we decided to pair this with our Tipler's Orange Liqueur because the Tipler's basically has its own history um, and basically it represents Florida's history. Um, oh, I you, love that. Yeah, exactly. Listen, um, the thing that's unique about this orange liqueur is basically we use all whole floor, um, whole Florida oranges, um, no na unnatural flavorings. Um, we basically macerate and distill ourselves. Um, it's very smooth, semi-sweet. It's a great mixer, and that's why we decided to pair it with our Banyan vodka. All right. We only have about a minute left. I want to make sure we get that third drink in. You tell us what that is. And then obviously we'll, we'll try to get these recipes on our website. And I know there's a, a great location for you guys too, to, to get them. Yeah. So the last drink's going to be a hot cider. We're going to use our sunshine whiskey. We're going to mix that with some hot cider. And then we're going to go ahead and top that with uh, ginger beer. Huh. I, I'm interested in the sunshine whiskey. Those are two words that I don't think I've ever heard together until we're talking with you there at St. Pete Distillery. Yeah, so um, thing, 
thing that's very special about this um, whiskey is um, this is a Florida still whiskey. Um, it's two blends of our very two oldest whiskeys that we've ever produced. Um, one is a corn whiskey, uh, which is at four years old. The other one is a seven year old light whiskey. Now, the difference between the the uniqueness about this whiskey is basically we've mac macerated and aged um, both blends in toasted Appalachian oak chips. So it's not like a standard char like your bourbon, but the thing is, it's, it's very smooth, it's semi-sweet, and it drinks just like a bourbon. Um, I love it straight, but I mean, in a cocktail, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Especially awesome. as a warm drink. We pretend it's fall, don't we, Carly? That's like yeah, right now. Like, pretend that it's cooking. Hey, humidity is, humidity is down today. We're taking it. Guys, thank you so much for showing yes. your website. And uh, again, I know uh, a lot of the local restaurants love to carry uh, your, you know, the distillery's, um, you know, supplies as well. So thank you so much. Yes. Happy Halloween. May the force be with you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>